Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back for another TOS video. Alright, so today we're gonna take down Nightmare of Nihawk. So basically, Nihawk is just situated around Diablo team. Alright, so I have no choice but to play Diablo team. So in order to do a fast video. Alright, so here we're gonna go for the two star achievement, which is the hidden condition, uh, fire and earth team only. Alright. Uh, which is why you can see which is such a weird setup here but it's doable just slightly slower than the the typical Diablo team right and then together with team leader and ally are uh, elf right so you can see first battle we have these three salamanders um, you have to kill pretty much kill them before the center one touch you right, which is the fire one the fire one deals about 15 K damage and then uh, yep no way I'm gonna take that so you, can, you notice that I do not have like a typical elf, uh, toy elf setup which is Morris Saruman so in a way I'm lacking a lot of utility cards here right like hard converters I don't have like Morris uh, for standby so here once I'm really out of hard runes that's it <laughs> right no more so every turn I have to clear the board and dissolve as many runes as possible to let at least 3 hard runes to drop on my board so I can at least heal alright so next up we have these uh, 2 Melox with Mao Trojan alright so they are not gonna double attack you so do not worry so basically just grind them down alright grind them down uh, of course being take note that one of them will be CD3, one of them will be CD2 when they appear, but after that it will be like two and one. So notice just take note of when are they gonna attack. Alright, so if they are not gonna attack then you can kind of just uh, stock up your hard runes. Alright, so no so you do not go on a hard rune drop after that turn. Right, so you can see here basically three, one set of 3 runes is enough uh, to heal back to full HP but the damage is not there. Right, so uh, with the help of this Earth Toy Pixie which I have for my ally, right, I use it for my ally is basically number 1. I do not have that card. Right, number 2 is it provides times 2 recovery once it's activated uh, and you will stay as long as you dissolve hard runes. Alright, and 3, it is an earth card, so it fulfills the fire earth achievement. Alright, so here is a more um, troublesome part. We have this fire melod with heart to fire. Right, so basically it's going to convert away your heart runes. So here, for one round, I just tried my best to deal as much damage as possible, which is, isn't a lot. Alright, there goes all my um, heart runes. Okay, so here, what I have to do is use uh, Diablo and Magnus um, Link skill. So for two turns, any rune have a hundred percent heart effect. So this is to take down this um, fire combatant stage, right? Since we do not have heart runes, we have to use other kind of rune to attack. Right? I can see that way. I I would say overkill, but it's necessary. Uh, it's enough to one hit kill this um this fire combatant okay so next up we have pilatus as well as piazza pilatus with mass runes and piazza with uh, fire convert uh, if i'm not wrong it should be the inside of the, the board and then the outside of the board and and it repeats right it's a cycle right so with one more turn of diablos active uh, i think it's enough to take out that stage as well so here is the pretty much the killer stage of all elf right gotta do it within four turns uh, we have Shu here with a phantom skill as well as a revival skill if you want to kill it when his hp is above 40 percent right a lot of nonsense too too many skills right it's like a basically an essay so here you gotta be extra careful all right and make sure you got the Make sure you kill it before 
he actually attacks you because there's no way to evade this guy's um uh attack right? because phantom meaning is gonna ignore your tumbler and your reflective Diablo leader skill Alright, so what I'm doing here is to turn on compulsion. You can see that shoe is at CD two. So when doing this, after this compulsion, it will be CD one. So that will be all the bet I have. So I'm running this uh, elf craft in which it turns the majority, most abundant craft uh, rune into hard runes. Alright, so here you can see that the toy elf, the earth toy elf, is ready. So oh, just nice. Alright, so here with this much of hard runes, I pray, right? I, I don't know whether it is, um, I managed to kill it or not, but I pray that it goes down, right? And it did. So thankfully, so moving on, we have, uh, we still have the, the hard effect going on. So as long as I dissolve hard runes every turn, right? So at this point of time, I'm also praying that, uh, please have at least three hard runes every round so I can maintain the active skill alright so next round we have these two salamanders 70% HP reduction each so they are on alternate CD so do not worry they are not going to kill you uh, using uh, elf team basically just you can basically full heal right, every turn so there is nothing to worry about Alright, so moving on, battle 7 is the PR material. Yup, the PR material. So, here, there's nothing much to be afraid of. So, as long as you have Diablo ready before this guy dies. Alright, then that's, that's all the thing you need to be concerned of. Alright, so basically, this guy is not gonna kill you. You can see that he have mass rune, that mass rune icon at the, at his side. So, he's not gonna take effect until you kill him. Alright, so basically here is just like a free storing stage if you need to store whatever cards you you, you need. And then just move on. Alright, so at, at this point you can actually store for Diablo. So if you kind of use Diablo in front, I don't know why would you need it. But in case you use it, uh, you can use this stage to store it back. Alright, so here is basically a short grind thanks to the ally. Uh, is usually Saruman with a times 2.5 um, 2.5 recovery alright and then now we are with this ally is only 1.5 so that that one times is a big difference alright you can see the difference in the overheal damage alright so nonetheless we still uh, we are still surviving that's, that's all we need to know and then with this one last overheal and then move on. Right, so once he dies, he's gonna mask the entire board, not revealing it at all. Right, so that's where you need your Diablo's um, board convert to kind of make everything visible again. Right, so here we have Biaki with five color shield. Right, so notice I have five colors on the board, but I just can't spin five colors. Right, so for some reason it's just I just keep messing up, right? And then uh, I'm missing a I'm missing a color here and there for the past the the next few the next few rounds. Right, it's basically very painful. Yeah, you can see that I still have five colors on the board, and then I fail to spin two colors again. Right, so you can see here I'm missing like light runes, uh, missing a water rune as well. And I have to maintain that heart, that, that toy elf active at the left. So I need to dissolve heart runes also. So basically, I'm, I have to spin all six runes right, in order to survive this stage. Right, but I, I still pull it off, right? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, moving on, we have Wawel. So here is another grindy stage. Okay, so basically, um, every turn he's gonna give one weathered rune and he's gonna reset the board right, so here do not worry whether you have remaining hard runes on the board or not because it's gonna be resetted and here I would say that if you run out of hard runes here then it's basically your luck <laughs> it's basically your luck so uh, of course do not worry 
if that actually happens, you can just use like um, Diablo's um, second skill or the butterfly second skill is basically the same thing to kind of spin all your colors or spin fire and earth um, to kind of heal back your HP. Alright. So here, oh, it's gonna be so long grinding video. I think the only grinding video I, I did for my channel is the one, uh, the Mystic Mansion, the, the, the Maleficent battle. That's the only grinding battle I have in my video. Right, so I don't remember having any more grinding videos because it's, number one is boring. Number two, uh, I'm, I don't think you guys will be uh, sitting through the entire video, watching me grind the video, <laughs> grinding the stage down. Uh, it's just very painful to watch at the same time. Alright, so, okay, anyway, so you can see here at the end, pretty much the end of the this battle, they decide to throw me with like, throw me with the weather runes. Alright, so you can see here, I have a uh, dark rune which is weathered, so I can't dissolve that. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll just leave one weather rune on the board. And then, it resets the board, now you can see that. I have water and fire, weather runes. All right, so um, basically a troll here, but uh, managed to survive it anyway. All right, so Nihok first HP bar is hard to earth, as well as normal attack cannot be uh, cannot damage him. Right for three turns. So, but overheal can still pass. Right, that's the thing. So here, you can see, uh, what am I going to do? I can't even remember what I do. Right, so you can see that one last, um, we, we got to deal with the weather rune first. So we got to dissolve fire and earth. So here, if I'm not wrong, I did a uh, Diablo and Magnus link skill. Right, so, yep. So Diablo and Magnus link skill, and then, I don't know why I turned on that, but that's useless practically useless, probably turn it on just for fun. Right, and I touch the weather room. Alright, so... Uh, I could have pulled it off just a one hit kill. And now I have to waste the second second um, Diablo active. Right, on this um, second turn of the Diablo active. On the first HP bar. Right, so second HP bar is slightly different from the one in the ultimate stage, which is um, the lower his HP, the more weather rune he will generate. Right, so not a very fun skill to linger around. So here, what I'm doing is uh, to let him attack me once more to activate Clara, and then we're gonna one hit kill this guy. Right, so you can see I do not have uh, hard runes on the board. So notice I, I told you in the, in the front part of the video, I'm basically using Sky Drop right, to generate the, the hard runes. Right, so if there's no hard runes as Sky Drop, then that's it, game over. Right, so notice I only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hard runes on the board. So here is where I go for the, that kill. So with my HP this much, I use this chance to turn on Clara. Alright, don't don't care about Rapanui over there because that's it's just there to fit in that Earth Earth uh, Elf achievement. Alright, so you can see I only managed to dissolve four hard runes and then I go for the Dragonic Compulsion because there is actually um, recovery bonus right in this craft. And in any case, I do not kill it. I still have plenty of enchanted hard runes the next turn to kill it. Right, so recovery times 100% managed to take it down. Right, this is a very very taxing team setup, right, just for the achievement sake. So I do not know why they put the fire earth achievement. Right, everybody was saying, oh, we can use Yang Jian. I don't think so, but uh, people can try, I'm not trying that. So let me know if anyone is using this Yang Jian or Deepankara setup for the Nightmare stage. You can link link me in the comment below. I would love to see it. 
Right, so with this, uh, we're done with Nightmare Stage, and then once again, it's time for the final giveaway. Alright, so um, previously, I told you guys to do a lucky draw. Uh, you guys send in the, the answers, and then I'm going to do a lucky draw. I'm the one doing the lucky draw, and then here it is. These are all the answers from you guys. All right, all the names of the the people that answer correctly. All right, so you can see, you can hear that it's a lot. All right, you can see that it's a lot. So, oh my god, what is all this doing here? All right, you can see that all the names are inside. So we're gonna do a lucky draw, and then that one guy, one lucky guy, will be getting the the poker cards all right so who's this ah i don't know how to pronounce that but i don't know if you guys can see it so um are, are you <laughs> i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly all right so congratulations you you are the lucky winner for the first tos poker card um, I'm gonna PM you very soon after this video. Alright, so next uh, giveaway, this week's giveaway is also the poker cards. So, same thing, we're gonna do a lucky draw. Alright, so first 10 correct answers is gonna get times 2 chance of winning. And then deadline will end Sunday uh, at 12 midnight. Alright, so this week's giveaway question is what is the next series that's gonna be PR? Alright, it's already out. If you guys don't know, go ask around. It's, the answer is already out somewhere. Alright, so in the next update, uh, which series is gonna get its power release? Alright, and then name me that, the, the name of the cards. Alright, so very simple. I think this is more simple than the last week's uh, question. Alright, so head over to my page. The link is in the description below press message me and then give me your answers all right so i'm, I'm gonna stop all the answers i'm gonna stop taking in answers um sunday 2359 all right so with this I'm gonna end this video here thank you so much for watching and then i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye